एवरी वन दिस इज विजय एंड वेलकम टू मई यूट्यूब चानल द टापिक दट वे आर गन लुक टूडे इज सोल्यूशन आफ सीपी जेट एंट्रस् एग्जामे सो गई बिफोर गोइंग टू दि टूडे सेशन सब्सक्रैब टू मई यूट्यूब चानल अं फॉलो मी इन टेलीग्राम फर् मोर् अट्स ना लेट्स मूविंग टू दि टूडे सेशन सी हेर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वाट इज गिवे इफ वैक्वल लाग एक्स बै एक्स दे फैंड द सैकंड डेरीवेट आफ वै If y equals log x by x, then find the second derivative of y. Let's see the solution here. Now let's see the solution. First of all, we find the first derivative of log x by x. So here we solve this one by using u by v formula. What is the u by v formula? Differentiation of u by v formula is v into u dash minus u into v dash by v square. V into u dash minus u into v dash by v square. Here u value is log x, v value is x. Okay. Now we solve this one by using the formula. So x into one by x. This is the differentiation of log x. Differentiation of log x is one by x minus log x into x differentiation is one by x square. Here x x get cancelled and the remaining value is one minus log x by x square. It is the first derivative of log x by x. Now we find the second derivative. d square by dx square of log x by x is differentiation of first derivative. If we find the differentiation of first derivative, what we get? Second derivative of log x by x. Again, we use u by v formula. So x square into differentiation of one is zero minus log x differentiation is one by x minus one minus log x x square differentiation is two x by x to the power of 4 next see this one if you simplify this what is the second derivative of d square by dx square into log x by x see this one 2 into log x minus 3 by x cube so it is a second derivative of log x by x 2 into log x minus 3 by x cube now let's see the options here now let's see the options here options 3 is the correct answer okay see the next problem see the question number 6 what is the question The radius of curvature of the curve y equals to 4 sin x minus sin 2x at x equals to pi by 2. Here we have to find the radius of curvature of the curve y equals to 4 sin x minus sin 2x at x equals to pi by 2. Now let's see the solution here. Given value is y equals to 4 sin x minus sin 2x. If you find the first derivative of y, what we get dy by dx for differentiation of sin x is cos x. Differentiation of sin 2x is Minus 2 cos 2x. If we differentiate again, we get a second derivative d square y by dx square. Cos x differentiation is minus 4 sin x. Cos 2x differentiation is minus 2 sin 2x. 2 to the 4 minus into minus plus. So what we get plus 4 into sin 2x. So this is the value of second derivative. Now we find a first derivative and second derivative at x equals to pi by 2. Here we find first and second derivatives at x equals to pi by 2. If substitute x is equal to pi by 2 in first derivative, what we get dy by dx is equals to 2. If substitute x is equal to pi by 2 in second derivative, so the value is d square by dx square equals to minus 4. Now we substitute all these values in radius of curvature formula. What is the radius of curvature formula? Rho equals to 1 plus dy by dx square whole to the power of 3 by 2 by d square y by dx square. Now we substitute first and second derivative values. So what we get rho equals to one plus four to the power of three by two by four. If you simplify this, what is the rho value? Five root five by four. Now let's see in options. Yeah. Second option is the correct answer. Option two is the correct answer. Now let's see the another question. This is the question number sixty-two. Let alpha belongs to S ten. If alpha equals to one, three, five, seven, two, four, six, eight, nine, then find the order of alpha. It is a problem of permutations. Now let's see the solution. Here, alpha equals to one three five seven two four six eight nine. Here we have two cycles. Alpha equals to one three five seven and two four six eight nine. Okay. So here we have to find the order of alpha. What is the formula to find the order of alpha? LCM of length of cycles. LCM of length of cycles. So length of this cycle is four and length of this cycle is five. So find the LCM of four and five. What we get? Order of alpha equals to twenty. Order of alpha equals to twenty. Now, see in options. 
ऑप्शन फोर इज द करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन फोर इज द करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट अनदर प्रॉब्लम नौ सीरीज वन क्वेश्चन नंबर फार्टी वट इज द क्वेश्चन नंबर फार्टी लिमिट एन टेन टू इनफाइनेट वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री प्लस वन प्लस एन बै एन स्क्वे नौ लेट्स द सोल्यूशन इवन हियर लिमिट एन टेन टू इनफाइनेट वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री प्लस वन प्लस एन बै एन स्क्वे सी दैक्स्ट स्टेप लिमिट एन टेन टू इनफाइनेट I am writing n into n plus one by two since it is a sum of first n natural numbers. Sum of first n natural numbers is n into n plus one by two. If we take the n common from here, so n into n is n square. So n square into one plus one by n whole by two n square. Here n square n square get cancelled and the remaining value is limit n tends to infinite one plus one by n by two. Now if we apply the limit, so what we get? One plus one by infinite. One plus one by infinite by two. One by infinite means what is the value zero? One plus zero by two. So what is the answer here? One by two. Now let's see in options. Yeah, option four is the correct answer. Option four is the correct answer. Question number sixty-eight. What is the question number sixty-eight? The number of solutions x square plus three x plus two equal to zero in the ring z six with addition modulo six and multiplication modulo six. Here we have to find the number of the solutions. Number of solutions of x square plus 3x plus 2 equal to 0 in the ring z6. Okay. Now let's see the solution. The solution z6 equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and given function f of x equals to x square plus 3x plus 2. If we substitute x is equal to 0, what we get? f of 0 equals to 2. Then 0 is not a solution. 0 is not a solution. Next. Substitute x is equals to one. F of one equal to what do we get six. But what is the modulo? Modulo equals to six. Ka modulo ane six ni ka bati values ane bhi six ka na thakko ne raha wali. Oka vela six ka na echo hoste. A value ni six to divide chesi remainder ni rastam. So here what is the value six? So six ni six to divide chesi aman kundi. So what is the remainder here? Remainder is zero. So f of one equals to zero. f of 1 equals to 0 then 1 is a solution then 1 is a solution of the given function next one if substitute x is equal to 2 so what we get 12 so it is a greater than 6 now divide 12 with 6 6 to the 12 so what is the remainder here 0 is the remainder so f of 2 equal to 0 then 2 is a solution here 1 and 2 are the solutions next substitute x is equal to 3 what do we get 20 If you divide 20 with 6, remainder is 2. So f of 3 equal to 2. Then 3 is not a solution. 3 is not a solution. Next, substitute x is equals to 4. If substitute x is equal to 4. What we get? f of 4 equals to 0. If substitute x is equals to 5. f of 5 equals to 0. Here, f of 4 equal to 0. f of 5 equals to 0. And f of 1 equals to 0. f of 2 equals to 0. Here. We have four solutions. Now let's see in options. So say option two is the correct answer. Option two is the correct answer. See the next problem. This is the question number eight. If e to the power of x plus e to the power of y equals to two x y, then find the dy by dx. Then find the first derivative of y. Let's see the solution. Here given value is e to the power of x plus e to the power of y equals to two x y. If differentiate with respect to the x. What we get? E to the power of x plus e to the power of y into dy by dx. Here we apply UV formula: 2 into x dy by dx plus y into y. We simplify this: e to the power of x plus e to the power of y into dy by dx equals to 2x into dy by dx plus 2y. Now we separate the terms. If we separate the terms, e to the power of x minus 2y equals to 2x into dy by dx minus e to the power of y into dy by dx. Take the dy by dx common. So e to the power of x minus 2y into 2x minus e to the power of y into dy by dx. From this, what is the value of dy by dx? So dy by dx is equals to e to the power of x minus 2y by 2x minus e to the power of y. Now let's see in option. So option four, fourth option is the correct answer. This is the question number 57. G equals to generated a and mod a equals to 12. Now the set of all Generators of G. Here we have to find the all generators of G. Here, what is given? G is generated by 
g is generated by a and order of a equals to 12 order of a equals to 12 now we find all generators of g okay let's see here this is a statement of the theorem if a is a generator of finite cyclic group g of order n if a is a generator of finite cyclic group g of order n then the other generators of g are in the form of a to the power of r where r is relatively prime to n where r is relatively prime to n okay now see this one see here order of a equals to 12 order of a equals to 12 and remaining generators are in the form of a to the power of r and this r is relatively prime to 12 now this r is relatively prime to 12 see the first option here 1 is a to the power of 1 1 is relatively prime to 12 and 5 a to the power of 5 5 is relatively prime to 12 a to the power of 7 7 is relatively prime to 12 and a to the power of 11 it is also relatively prime to 12 so what are the generators here generators of g are a power 1 a power 5 a power 7 a power 11 so the first option is correct answer okay guys in next video we will discuss some more problems of cpz entrance examination thank you